Christmas is always family time. And this year that has been very difficult for many of us because we could not gather as family as we normally did to do those time-honored traditions or to even spend Christmas Day together opening presents. It is a time that we remember not only our own families, but the Holy Family of Mary and Joseph and Jesus. But also family in a different sense, as Jesus will redefine family. I remember now decades ago, the pastors in the community gathered together uh, a consultation on youth and family. We brought together everybody we could think of that worked in those fields in the community for a conversation one evening. It was an incredible night and we learned a great deal about the issues that were facing the youth and families in our community. A few weeks later, we as pastors gathered together to begin to plan for what we would do with this newfound information. Unfortunately, the conversation focused on what do we consider to be family? And the consensus was family is mom and dad and 2.2 children, perhaps a dog and maybe a cat. And there seemed to be very little interest in helping with the issues facing other configurations of family. It reminded me of the conversation that Jesus had later in the Gospels. His mother, the mother that bore him and rocked him, perhaps sang to him, loved him, watched him grow, came to Jesus to put him away quietly before he became any more of an embarrassment to the family. Jesus' response when told that his mother was outside and was requesting him raised the question, who is my mother and my father and my brothers and sisters? In a very quick way, he redefines what family is. Family are those that are gathered around him. They are now his brothers, his sisters, his mothers, his fathers, his aunts, his uncles, his cousins. The Christian community was seen very much as a new style of being family together. One of the blessings of being adopted is that you are not confined to your adopted family because they are no more connected to you, really, than anybody else. And so I spent most of my life creating families, collecting moms and dads and aunts and uncles and little sisters and little brothers. It was kind of an interesting family gathering and family grouping. Wherever I went, I created instant family. Perhaps during this time of COVID, that isn't a bad thing to begin to ponder. Who are our families? Are they those we work with? Are they those that are in our pods? Are they our biological families? Are they our church family? Or are they all above? Who do we consider as family? Is it not those that we love and that love us? And perhaps that wouldn't be a bad way to begin the new year by focusing on that extended family. And instead of worrying about those who are not able to gather with you, 
to join in celebration with those who can. Although I speak with angel tongue, my faith, my knowledge all surpass, but have no love, my gifts are vain as clanging gong or blaring brass. For love is patient, love is kind, and never vain with boasting pride. Love bears all things, all things endures, all things must end, love will abide. For now we peer at darkened glass, our visions end, our tongues all cease. In part we know, in part now see, then we will see love face to face. The gifts are many, the body one, and into one all are baptized. Beloved, share one heart, one mind, one hope, one faith, one love in Christ.